seven foot freshman Jason Collier. What else but a fired up Bobby Knight. First half action tied at 27. Yukon's Kevin Freeman spinning and hitting the J plus the foul. Jim Calhoun's crew up two at the half. In the second half, I use Neil Reed drives and feeds freshman Collier, who jams. Nice move by the seven footer. IU by two. Later, Huskies Rashamel Jones keeps Yukon close. Three of his 21. Yukon down five. The Hoosiers would answer. A.J. Guyton knives to the basket, flips in the layup, IU by seven. Then Jason Collier one more time. The easy layup, enough for the double-double in his first game. I guess Bobby is happy. Jason certainly was. Where Rick Pitino's Wildcats take on the 17th ranked Clemson Tigers. The Tigers returning four starters this year. Ron Mercer, though, is rejected by a high fly and Harold Jameson. Tied at 24 in the first half. Anthony Epps from well beyond the arch. That's good for three. Kentucky by three. They led by six at the half. But in the second, the pass inside to Sir Kunis. And Clemson is only down by one. Less than two minutes to go. Harold Jamison gets the dunk. And Clemson's up by two. Tied at 63 in the end of regulation. Greg Butner feeds a hungry Harold Jamison who slams it home and draws the foul as Clemson prevails in overtime. 79 to 71 is the final. So for the third straight year, the defending national First game, first round of the NIT tourney. Things look good right off the tip. Charles O'Bannon misses the alley-oop, but Toby Bailey emphatically slams it home. Bruins lead 36-33 at the half. Second half, they're running. Jelani McCoy leading the break, and McCoy says, damn it, I'm a dunker, not a doctor. UCLA up 50-39, to and then Tulsa woke up. Shea Seals for three, nails it. Adrian Crawford for three, nails it. Jamie Gillen for three, 20. We're tied at 59, and then Tulsa, then they explode. Michael Ruffin inside. Not roughing it. Then Shea Seals gets the nice pass and lands it home. 70-62 Tulsa, but then UCLA, UCLA would rally. Chris Johnson off the steal, gets the easy layup with time running out to tie it at 70. Then after a Seals miss, Johnson to win for three. No. Nah. J.R. Henderson's follow. No. Nah. We go to overtime, and in overtime, Toby Bailey inside the paint, hits the runner. We're tied at 76. Tulsa goes for the win. Johnny Gendron misses, but Zach Bennett is fouled. They call a foul with two seconds left. Steve Lavin says, give me a break. After missing the first, Bennett hits the second. Tulsa up one last chance for UCLA, but the Bruins throw it away. Tulsa wins 77-76. Steve Henderson loving your final score. So Tulsa... Same old system. Gabe Lewellis hits Brian Earl on the cut down the lane for the layup. Again, Jesse Rosenfield passes and cuts to the hoop, and he gets the layup. Princeton up 19-15, and then they, the infamous Princeton backdoor, Rosenfeld to Lewellis for the layup. He had 10. Bobby Knight had a problem. Still in the first half, Neil Reed, no problem. Off the glass for the foul. Indiana down 26-25 at the half. Second half, Andre Patterson misses once, but not twice. That's the only dunk of the game. 10 points for Patterson. Hoosiers up 27-26. Reed again. The three-pointer nails it. 20 points, career high. 11 rebounds for Reed. Indiana up 47-43, and then Reed takes it right down the heart of the defense. The Hoosiers would hold off Princeton 59-49 where the Blue Devils eat non-conference opponents for breakfast. Wearing the new black uniforms at home, Ricky Price grabs the rebound and goes coast to coast and looked darn fine doing it in those new unis. Duke up 12 at the half. In the second half, Trajan Langdon, huge. The three from the corner, the three again. Mwani, part of a 15-0 Duke second half run. Trajan again, it's the wide open triple. Six of seven from behind the arc. Duke up big late freshman Mike Chappelle with the cherry on top. Coach K thrilled with his 450th career win. Duke wins by 29 points. The Bourne. St. Mary's at Oklahoma State. Keonti Roberts to Adrian Peterson for the lay in. Oakley stayed up by as many as 16. St. Mary's Josh Unruh nails a three from the corner. St. Mary's led by two with 6.6 seconds left. David Sibilich missed that free throw, and then this happened. Four and a half seconds left. Long pass scare from three. Bill Teagans from KOMA Radio stealing my line. Billy DeSpaltro working it out baseline. He had 22 to lead, Bandy. Atiba Prater gets the steal, one of three he had, and he makes it count. Junior guard Drew Maddox. We will refrain from Greg Maddox or Drew Barrymore jokes. 
Drew had 14. Vandy wins it 74 to 66. Pax Whitehead, who came off the bench, this half Tariq Kirksey to Kashif Hamid for the jam. Hamid at 14. Still in the first. Kirksey, great crossover dribble and the kiss against Bill Raftery's old team. Gales by 15 at the half, and Hamid forces a turnover in the second half. Mindagas Tominskis says Ibita. Gales force 23 turnovers and win 79-66. At one point, Iona led, Iona led by as much as... L. Simon, Arizona's only returning starter, benched academic problems. In the first half, Eddie Cota of North Carolina does not connect, but stays with it to Vince Carter for the slam. Things are going Carolina's way. Still the first. Cota to Adamola Okalaja, and that would be a fortunate bounce. Carolina's up by six. It was tied at the half at 29, then in the second half. Arizona's outstanding young freshman guard, Mike Bibby, for three points. And that was from NBA range. He had 22 and five assists in the game. And then Carolina had no answer for this guy. Mike Dickerson, three-pointer there, then in the lane. Dickerson had 31 on the night, made seven three-pointers. Carolina's first season opening loss since 1983, with four Wildcats making their first ever collegiate start. Earlier, preseason NIT, Indiana hosting the Billikens of St. Louis, the general. First half, St. Louis with the press, forcing the turnover, Virgil Cobbin going in for the layup. He had 10 to lead St. Louis. 8-0 run by the Billikens. But then ensuing possession by Indiana. Watch this. Andre Patterson with a basketball. Large Hoosiers go in, and they're up by one. Still the first half. A.J. Guyton, only a freshman, going past Cobbin for the easy finger roll. He had 14 in the game. Hoosiers up by seven at the break. Second half, Indiana's seven-foot freshman, Jason Collier, with the basketball. Good touch. 13 in the game. Hoosiers push it out to a 16-point lead. And Michael Lewis with the foul. Cameraman with problems. That's tough wartime paid for that guy. 3-0 and are the Hoosiers now. They're into the semi. The hard way. All Cincy. Damon Flint. Reuben Patterson ready and not refugees taking over. Reuben at 13. Then Patterson spots Darnell Burton for three. Darnell, it's all good. He had 19, but Danny Fortson just blew up. Turn around, Jay in the paint. Fortson, 29 points, 15 boards. Cincinnati cruises 99-72. Western Carolina with the Vikings against his old nemesis, Thompson and the Hoyas. And Thompson just has got better players. Bubakar out at 14. Hoyas led by 23. Oh, Victor Page has hops. And Page on the break. And he lays it up and in. Georgetown wins 77-67. Page 23 as they spoil Rowley's debut. Malcolm Sims had 21 for the Vikes. After leaving UNLV two years ago, Massimino back in his old form. Took him only 19 minutes to get a technical. Richie Parker, his long-awaited debut for Long Island U. Fran Fraschilla's coaching debut for St. John's. Warm and friendly St. John's fans greeted Parker with chance of jailbird, jailbird. They couldn't stop him from dunking, though. Seven seconds left, tied at 73. Dave Mascali to the hoop. Little guy going strong. And that's a three-point play and the game winner. Shot. 76 it's Rutland working his way in got the floater it's soft as church music then on the inbounds pass uh oh he's up to no good Demon Deacons by 20 at halftime second half more Duncan Duncan it's not just a noun it's a verb grabs the board runs the floor looking for Rodney West Duncan 15 rebounds Wake wins it Wake wins it rather comfortably by the final of 92 63 Wake third in the nation